Ms. Shu Ting, Director of the Department of Education and Affairs at the Liaison Office of the Central People's Government in Macau SAR. Is the so Chi Fai representing the Secretary for Social Affairs and Culture? Representatives of the diplomatic corps, member and honorable member of the Catholic Foundation for Higher Education, Director Paul Peter Silva, distinguished guest, dear professors, parents, and fellow students of USJ, ladies and gentlemen, we are honored representing the Graduate Class 2019 to deliver the message of appreciation. I'm Alan Young, who graduated with a doctorate degree in global study from the Faculty of Creative Industry. I used to read speak from my mind and seven prepare written notes, not in any conference presentation nor my thesis defense, but only for today's sermon. I try not to quote any famous or infamous person's work, which can be found easily. Graduation is not only mean one can master a subject or two, but that one should have acquired a critical mind to understand society along with subject matter as a whole. We cannot be expert of everything, but we should ensure we can think and analyze most subjects matters. We may have no knowledge of rocket science in details, but we should have our own perspective on rocket science as a whole, which, bring, which brings great impact and contributes to humankind. Education may teach you some skills to survive and make a living in the society. But it is more important to socialize, to educate, and to be part of the society with a wider vision, if not a world vision. Science, technology, engineering, and math are essential to the technical advancement of humankind. And social science, history, art, politics, and economics are fundamentals and inextricably linked to humankind's advancement in all time. When we consider an issue, whatever an issue, these elements are always around us for us to contemplate. And these elements are always interlinked and affecting one and each other. Personally, I have spent years at USG for self-actualization, and the result did not really miss what I have learned or what degree I've got. But I felt that the level of ability to push knowledge ahead. Knowledge has no boundary. And I have just come to the edge where I can see how little I know. When I was in high school, I thought one day I should reach the highest level in education, and today I make it. I would like to make myself a role model for my kids that learning is a lifelong exercise. I want to affirm to myself that there should be no key opinion leader whose opinion may only affect a small percentage of people. Rather, a collective opinion leader who can foster argument and open our visions for advancement, help the innocent, and reduce the ignorance. Last but not least, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the foreign people who were crucial in my last six who were crucial in my last six years of study. My supervisor, Professor Francisco Leandro, Professor Dominic Tu, Professor Linda Tudor, and others who are or were with USJ at a certain point. Other people including Dr. Carmen Carl, Professor Ralph Kissens, Professor Lily Steele, Professor Jean Peck. My wife Emily, who is always considered, my daughter Audrey, who always raised questions about my school life and stimulate my further thoughts about life, my parents and sister, who are always there to encourage and support. Thanks to the Roman Catholic Church, which has contributed to the education around the world and provide an open environment to nurture people, especially for myself 23 years. Thanks to the central government, who allows the SAR government to create a comparatively livable city and affordable education environment, and the preservation of the West, its, its heritage of Macau, which is essential to nurture students of all ages in this city. Today is a media commerce film which confirmed that our effort, the world may seem to move on with the truth, but remember that your effort can make the world brighter and better. Thank you. So, 
I'm Wilson Manuel, graduating today from the Faculty of Social Science with a Bachelor in Clinical Psychology. Representing the class of 2019 graduates, I'd like to offer a heartfelt thanks to all those who have aided us in our journey here today. Those who have supported us and nurtured us. Four years is quite long in my opinion, but perhaps that's due to my experience more than anything else. In these four years, some of us have tried and failed, but many of us have succeeded, many more than the former. Those are people I see here today, in this room together with me, and we should all be proud of ourselves. But more so than that, grateful to those here with us. To the professors, your patience and wisdom, although we may have been but one of many batches we've seen, and will continue to see, to us students, you've left an everlasting impression. And through your guidance, we stand here today. A better version of ourselves compared to yesterday, and incomparable to ourselves four years ago. To the management, our dear vice directors and rectors, I thank you on behalf of all students for your hard work in bringing about such a wonderful university, one of diversity and integrity, as well as our gratitude for the continual improvement of USJ. Despite some ups and downs, I firmly believe that USJ as a whole will only get better as we move forward, and such spirit will only help the students fueling our improvement. To the staff of USJ, your dedicated service to the functioning of the university and its better. It's an unglamorous job sometimes, with many forgetting the contribution. I'd like to thank the OSAA, Piro, and Library in particular. I've worked together with or been helped immensely by all of the wonderful people there, and they were largely why I thought USJ was such a welcoming and enjoyable university. Our students do get pampered, and never have I felt that we were not the focus of their hard work. Whether it was helping out with the Rector's Forum, heading out with the alumni on a cultural exchange, or simply working intently in the study rooms at the library. These were all treasured memories of mine that added depth to my stay in USJ. I was not only a student, but an active participant, learning along the way whilst broadening my horizons. Last but not least, I'd like to thank the parents and friends present today. Without your support and encouragement, we would not be here now. I can't possibly properly represent each individual, so I'll leave it up to them. To my fellow graduates, there's not much I can share with you that you do not already know. On the contrary, there's far more that you can teach me. And I do hope we get a chance to know each other, those that don't, and to continue our friendship, those we are already acquainted with. To the architects, please fix our housing problem. To the entrepreneurs and managers, help in making Macau more prosperous. To the designers, lift Macau out of its status on cultural wasteland. To the educators and teachers, our future is in your hands. To those advancing into creative industries, bring joy to us in the form of entertainment and media. To the translators and academics, help bring Macau closer to the global stage. To the devout Christians, spread God's word and his love. To the social workers and psychologists, help all those that you can. Now let's strive to make Macau a better place, if only ever so slightly. Four years is quite long, a little more than a fifth of my existence, but many of four years we have to look forward to. To care your health, even more so your mental health, don't disregard your finances, and continue to learn and educate yourselves. Thank you. Wishing you all the best in 